I've done a couple of videos on how a small mag loop antenna may be the best option for hams limited to an indoor or balcony antenna. It's simple to build one, but you need a hefty high voltage tuning capacitor unless you're running low power. Now you can buy a mag loop, but they're expensive. Most are only good for low power. So what about a wire antenna? small enough to be used indoors or out that covers 20 through 10 meters with an SWR low enough to be handled by your transceiver's built-in tuner. Well, how about an N-fed, off-center fed antenna? Is that possible? I like off-center fed antennas because they can work more than one band. A resident diapole is mostly a one-trick pony. I come across exactly that on the website of Palomar Engineers, an N-fed, off-center fed wire antenna that covers 20 through 10 meters. Like Solomon said, there's nothing new under the sun. Here it is. The link is in the description of this video. The radiating wire here is only 25 feet long and the end can be dropped down toward the ground or floor if indoors. The counterpoise is the shield of the coax feed line with a choke installed seven feet from the feed point. Here's your feed point with a four to one unin and your choke installed seven feet from the unin. Then you need at least 25 feet of feed line here, at least 25 feet between the choke and the tuner or the standing waves will be too high. And this antenna also works 17 and 12 meters. The one I put up worked 30 meters with a two to one SWR. Now you can buy this antenna from Palomar Engineers. It's not expensive. But it's easy to make one. I already had all the stuff, including a four to one unin. And there are plenty of instructions on the internet and how to make ballons and unins. And they're not difficult to make. Make sure it's a four to one unin with a U, not a four to one ballon with a B. Here's the four to one unin held to the wall with a picture hanging hook. And here's the choke at seven feet from the unin just laying on the floor. So, did it work? Yeah! On all bands, 20 through 10, including 17 and 12 meters, SWR readings were around 3 to 1 or less. Outdoors, I'm sure you'd do much better. Now, I used a 40 feet of RG174 coax, which is a small, inexpensive coax cable. With a 3 to 1 SWR on 15 meters, the additional loss caused by the standing wave ratio is only one half of a dB. An RG174 is rated for over 300 watts at 10 megahertz. I don't know why we don't use more of it. So there you go. An in-fed, off-center fed, cheap, easy to make, multi-band antenna. You know, I see commercially made portable antennas that cost hundreds of dollars, and all they are is inefficient coil-loaded verticals or dipoles. A wire tossed up over a tree limb would work better. Consider subscribing to this channel and 73.